How's it going YouTube? This is Grant back with Noco Scale Auto coming to you on a Sunday. I'm um, just showing you uh showing you guys kind of what I got so far for my Ford truck month build. Um this is just a mock up of uh of what it's kind of going to look like. Um as you can see it's going to be a tow truck um, or like an old school old school style wrecker. Mm -hmm. Um this is uh the 37 Ford kit. Um I uh, I got the suspension lowered down. Um, CT Speed Shop helped me out with that. He uh, he sent me the lowered suspension that uh, that he didn't use on last year's on his last last year's uh, Ford Truck Month. He built the same kit. Um, he didn't use the lowered suspension, so he was uh, kindly enough to to send me that, which I was really uh, really appreciated of. Um, I modified the frame a little bit to to get it to sit a little bit lower than uh, than the lowered suspension would have uh, would have let me to go. Um, it's sitting on some, just some steelies, um, I painted red, um, it's also on some AMT wide white wall tires, <clears throat> and those are, uh, those are late 50s Mopar, uh, center caps, um, from Parts by Parks, just something I had in the parts box, and I, I figured they would look pretty cool, they'd kind of go with the, the old school, like, hot rod style of, uh, of the theme of the build, um, it's gonna have like a weathered paint job. Um, it's gonna be weathered, uh, weathered up. Um, I've done I've done quite a bit of work to it. Um, the engine's not not the factory engine. I, at first I was gonna go with the factory engine, and then it just wasn't really working out. So I uh, I scrapped that idea, and I took the engine out of the Ravel 32 sedan. So it's got the 24 stud um, flathead in it. Uh, with the three carbs, um, the Edelbrock heads, it's got the Edelbrock intake on it. Um, it pretty much just fit right in. I had to modify the frame a little bit for like the trans mount, and I had to uh, I had to shorten the like the torque tube for the the drivetrain. Um, but other than that, it pretty much uh, pretty pretty much went went right in. I got the light on top is out of the uh, the Revell Fifty Seven Del Rio wagon, uh, the police car version. I figured that would work pretty well. I have uh, three of those kits, so you know I don't plan on building one, one as a police car. So that's kind of where where I got the light from. Everything is just sitting on there. Um, it's probably gonna fall when I spin it. But here's like the the tow truck part on the back. It's gonna have a back fender. I just couldn't get the fender to sit on there without falling off as a mock up. Um, the part on the back is the tow truck part from the uh, Lindbergh 34 Ford. Um, once again, one of my one of my good friends, he is in the process of building that kit, and uh, and he gave me all the tow truck parts for it. So I was I was really grateful for that too. Um, a lot of people have helped me out with this build. Uh, my friend Dave, um, my friend Dave from Oregon, he uh, he was actually going to be building this kit too, um, but he was using a trans kit. He was going to make his into a thirty five. So he actually sent me all of the front end pieces to make this into a 38. Um, the hood, the hood sides, the grill, everything to make it into a 38. So I like the, the look of the old school barrel nose a lot better than the 37. So this is going to be converted into a 38. Um, I couldn't get the parts to sit on there for mock-up because it's like five pieces or whatever. Um, but everything's all smoothed out and sanded. Um, and ready for primer it's just been kind of cold here too cold to, to primer anything um but it, it it's all a rolling chassis excuse my hands here there's a there's one of the steelies you can kind of see that's kind of what i'm working with here just kind of um weathered it up a little bit so i could uh so it would it wouldn't look kind of used you know so taking it apart here, I opted to go and I put this scale diamond plate over top of the wood because I I, I figured that would go uh, go a lot better with having it as a tow truck. I'm gonna kind of rust that out a little bit, so I, I kind of figured that would go a lot better. Um, having that be uh, um, you know, be uh diamond plate. There, you can kind of get a better idea of the wheels. Um, I had to end up modifying the bottom a little bit. Kind of like where it... 
where like the wishbone hooks to the frame. I had to modify that a little bit. But as you can see, it pretty much bolted right in. Or not bolted right in, but it pretty much just... It's still, it's just sitting in there. It's not, uh... The engine's not um, glued in or anything. Um, but here's kind of what I'm working with here on the engine as well. Um, I haven't wired it yet. I'm going to wire it up. Um, the, 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 the distributor goes right here on the front. So I'm going to wire it up. I'm going to plumb the fuel lines and... I haven't figured out what I want to do for uh, for breathers yet, but I have a couple different options that, that I can go with. Um, but yeah, here's the frame. It's all black right now. The frame's just all painted black. Um, I'm going to go through and weather it up and, and detail what I can detail on that. So there's that. And then, like I said, here's all the front end parts to make it into with a 38. I'm going to be using the... I'm gonna be using the the visor from the the Ravel uh, 41 Chevy, so it'll have a visor on the front. Um, and also, scratch built this little push bar for the front. Um, out of the same like scale diamond plate. Um, I use some scale bolts I got from uh, uh, scale finishes. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. That'll go on the front. Um, I still need to get a couple things for the back. I'm, uh, I need a toolbox. I have this one that came with the, the 34, the Lindbergh 34 kit, but it's just kind of a, uh, kind of big, not really, like in scale or kind of too big from what I, from what I want to do with it. So I want to get a, I want to get a smaller, look for a smaller toolbox. I also just finished up the interior too, as well. Um, I don't know how good you'll be, you'll be able to see it here, but it's got a Mexican blanket um, from Freddie H Town. Got a couple magazines in there: Hot Rod magazine, um, Playboy magazine. Um, it's got the gauges. Um, it's just a factory. Pretty much just all factory. I just kind of added uh added some stuff to uh to detail it up. Um, there's like my little die shifter on there. Um, CT sent me that. He sent me a couple of those. I, he, he must know that I like to put um, those die shifter as, on my hot rods. I'm only have only had a couple of those left, so he sent me a couple. Um, once again, thanks, man. I, I appreciate it. Uh, it's got some seat belts in there. Just the factory dash. That's the color I'm gonna paint the truck. Uh, it's like a tannish, um, just like a tan, sort of like a darker tan. Um, but really, that's about all I got. I'm hoping, uh, I was hoping to get into, into primer today, but it just didn't really happen. Um, I used today and I did the interior. Um, I worked on the engine a little bit, um, but it's coming along. Like I said, all the, all the body panels are all sanded, the front fenders, the, everything's all sanded and ready to go, um, ready for, um, paint. So I just need to get some, get some primer, um, some of that red oxide primer and I'll be ready so sorry for I, I I know I told you guys I would like to do some weekly updates but uh but I've just been kind of busy um, I've been really wanting to get this done I, I really want to build some cool stuff this year so I really want to get this build done um, I've been having a lot of fun with it um, I know there's a lot of you guys that have uh, that have awesome builds a couple of you guys are almost done a couple of you guys are done um, but uh but I think I'm moving along pretty well. I'm having a lot of fun with it. So but like I said, uh yeah, hopefully I'll have an update next week. Um or this coming week with some paint with some paint on it so you guys can check it out. Um but yeah. Hopefully you all uh had a great had a great weekend. Um my weekend was pretty good. I'm glad I got some more on the truck. So but this is Grant from Knuckle Scale Auto. I'm out. Peace.